feeling fantastic in excellent spirits here to recap another wild few days in sports to bring you up to speed on all that's going on as this is the j reels podcast with your host j reels for my first timers welcome aboard and for those who've been banging with me going back to the very beginning somewhere in the middle or even as early as this past thursday i welcome you guys and gals back and i wonder what we could discuss here on this first monday of december i've seen a lot of bad steel performances over the years and they've had some stinkers. Even two of the games that they lost this year, even the Jacksonville game, that was a bad game, but it was 20 to 10. But remember, they got blown out in week one against the Niners, where they only moved the ball a half an inch until their final drive of the first half, where they got their touchdown and did nothing else after that. And then in Houston, where CJ Stroud just lit him up from pillar to post, and the Steelers had no answer for the Texans that afternoon to where Stroud, up until that point, had his best offensive day as a rookie. And as we all know, he's gonna run away with the rookie of the year, so we think. But then yesterday, an Arizona Cardinal team that is a dead team walking, a team that was two and 10, a team that is pretty much packed it in, that had to come east, or as east as you possibly can get before you get to the Atlantic Ocean, to where we had them come into their building Akershire Stadium, Heinz Field, whatever you want to call it. And the Steelers, as uttered by the head coach, Mike Tomlin, said it was a horrible day at the office. Not bad. Horrible. And that's a quote. And then on top of that, said that they were the JV. Now, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board quick, fast, in a hurry, because guess what they play this coming week, and on a short week, I might add, the New England Patriots. A Patriot team that right now has been one of the worst that we've seen. And again, I just mentioned Carolina that has one win. But you know what? You might as well throw the Patriots up there because their offense is from hunger. They have not performed well here as we've seen throughout the whole year. But watch this be the one game. And the Patriots have the Steelers number, Tom Brady or no Tom Brady. Think about it. Last year in week two with Mac Jones, they went into... Akershur, Heinz, whatever these stadiums are called, went there and beat them 17-14. After the Steelers won week one, he had an opportunity to go 2-0. Uh Uh-uh. Bill Belichick has owned the Steelers over the years. And here it is. You might as well have me a quarterback for New England, but I may come out victorious considering the performance, what we saw there yesterday in Pittsburgh. And I understand Kenny Pickett got hurt where he got his ankle rolled up and he was in a walking boot to where you had Mitch Trubisky Oh, and I know with Trubisky, not all his fault, but at 10-3, and mind you, they had an opportunity to where they were ready to, at 3-3, they looked like they were going to go in for a touchdown. And what happened? They got stuffed there, fourth and goal. They were first and goal. They couldn't get it into the end zone. And then 99 yards the other way, 
the Arizona Cardinals. No, this isn't Kurt Warner. This isn't Larry Fitzgerald. No, no, no. It's not that offensive team that we've seen in the past for the Arizona Cardinals. It is Kyler Murray. It is Trey McBride. It is Marquez Brown, Marquise Brown, former Hollywood Brown from the Ravens. Guys like that. Just a pathetic performance by Pittsburgh and one that is still sticking in the ribs or sticking to my ribs as one that I'm not going to be able to watch away. Even if they do beat New England, whether it's 50 to nothing or 3 to 2, it's not going to matter. That could be a game that the Steeler fan and Pittsburgh may circle when it's all said and done as a game that could have padded to their record and didn't have to worry about or could be a game that could doom them somewhere down the road. How do my good people? Another episode just about in the books, as always. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for participating, for carving out precious moments out of your day to listen to what it is they have to say about what goes on in the world of sports. If you haven't done so, please subscribe, rate, review. Throw me a few stars, people. Write a review. I would greatly appreciate it just so we can increase the visibility of this podcast with all the others that are out there. If you haven't done so, go to any of my social media accounts, my YouTube channel, at JReels, as I post content there daily when it comes to what's going on in the world of sports. I also have some vlogs that are going to be put up, not only in the weeks to come, but certainly once we get into 2024 and beyond. If you want to hit me up with a question, comment, suggestion, you could do so with the following on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, The JReels Podcast, on Twitter, X, JReels, one just a number, or the old-fashioned way, the J Reels Podcast at gmail.com. One more time, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to follow up with you guys and gals because whether you do or do not know, this is what I love to do, people. It's in the blood. It's in the DNA, as I like to say. Sports, I've been discussing it. I've been watching it. I've been following it pretty much since I come out of the womb to share my fire, passion, energy, fury with my thoughts, opinions, feelings, analysis, critiques, praise on anything and everything. That happens on the world of the diamond, ice, gridiron, hardwood, golf course, racetrack, tennis court, boxing ring, octagon, you name it. From my lips to your ears, from my heart to your soul, from where I am to wherever you are, the J Reels Podcast always comes correct, direct, and in full effect. From the South Bronx, the South Beach, the South Center, the South Pacific, and all points beyond, peace, love, and God bless everybody. And until next time on the J Reels Podcast, on the flip, baby.
What is happening, my good people? It's a Monday. You know what time it is. Podcast day. It is already up now. Apple, Spotify, Cherryrolls.com. Bringing you everything that's happening in sports. Everything you see listed below, you know I'm going to bring the pain, especially with the committee and what they did over the weekend, screwing Florida State. And I understand that Alabama may have deserved it, but you got to look at what happened here as there's an SEC bias going around where they had to have a team from that conference represent in the college football Final Four. I get into the Niners and how they dominated in Philadelphia, but they're a front-running team, and I explain in deeper detail. You just got to listen to the podcast, people. Always coming correct, directed, in full effect on everything that's happening in sports. The NBA Cup this week. Anybody interested in that? What about the winter meetings? What's going to happen? Juan Soto, will he get traded? Yamamoto, Shohei Otani. I'll cover it all, people.